Hi guys, this is my first sort of unboxing, unpackaging video. Uh, I've got this package today. It comes from France. I think actually Paris to be exact. So I'm going to open it. Um, I know what it is. Well, I hope I know what it is. Um, Okay, I'm having difficulty actually getting in. See, good job that I said this on my first. Next time I'll be more prepared. There's two things in here. This one's rather heavy, so this is thing number one. Take that off as rubbish. Well, actually, no, it's a letter. Okay, put around it. Uh, thank you for your order, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's just my order, saying my order, they use that as the thing. So, this is the first thing, and it's got an emboss there of Waterman Melons logo. Uh, take that sleeve off. Get that bit off. And there we go, we have the Pierre Solar uh, strategy guide. That's actually really nice. If someone who has a lot of strategy guides, uh, mainly Legend of Zelda and stuff, is really good. What's it? Complete walkthrough, infantry stats, guide in English with Japanese, French, German, Spanish uh, sections. In uh, in the strategy guide, 16 page, 16 page of sight of sight insider, 16 bit magazine. In a world where size matters, true true gamers, blah blah blah. Not coming games. It shows out. Can get anything on the back. Um, yeah, that's really not. Oh, Pico, return to scoop for a moment to rush the 60 Pico, return to scoop on for auto 99 the size. Oh, it's got like a little coupon thing, but it's like a jokey thing. That's quite cool. Um, so we've got this in the back. Which looks like a poster. Uh, yep, there's the poster. Uh, yeah. So I gather that's all the places in Pierre Solar. Mountain Forest Town Map. So that's that's really neat. Seems really nice quality that. It's, uh, slots in the back. So let's have a quick whiz through. Uh, the guide. Um, so it's coloured. Uh, so this is boss one, so it can't really be spoilers. Um, yeah, so it's all coloured. Um, then more colour characters, and then it's got stuff in the back. This must be about the Japanese and Portuguese section. Yeah, it is. It's got all left out different languages in the back and then it's got what's this okay. size insider like a magazine-y type um, bit that's that's really cool I really like that guide which could be very useful because I do own Pierre Solar on Mega Drive own a reprint copy of it, uh, which is still um, sealed, and I own it on the uh, Wii U. Uh, there's like the tassel for where your page got to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's really cool. I think that was like I can't remember how much that was, but definitely worth the money. Um, so yeah, I'll put that one down in a second. Right. So that's the rest of the rubbish. And then we got this. Yep, this is the Dreamcast version of Pierre Solar, a uh, European edition. It, you could get a Japanese one or the American one. See, I'm really tempted to keep this sealed. I've kept nearly all my homebrew um, Mega Drive stuff and indie stuff sealed. 
and like I said, I've got the reprint of this sealed. But as we're doing an unboxing video, if Luke Summerhays is watching this, he just had a heart attack um, that I'm actually opening this. I will keep this plastic box and like put it back, so I'm keeping that. So open that. No, no, it is. It's in. It's full. So it's got proper European case. So that'll be broke within a week. Um, obviously, all the info on the back. Uh, it's compatible with the VMU. I think it's called like VMU mini mini games. Huge epic event. And it's wrapped this card in Spanish stories. Add something. VMU, yeah, VMU exclusive features. So let's open it up. So there's the front cover, there's the front, there's the back, that's really nice. Um, mostly the main thing, the disc, and all three discs from what I gather are different, they're designed from whatever country you got, so the European one's got the black here, where like the Japanese one's got like the blacky thing here, if I am. Um, remember correctly, that's a really nice looking disc, um, and then if you go over, uh, we've got what looks like some stickers, uh, for more fun, join the community, yeah it's just some stickers, uh, it's quite nice, I won't use, uh, use them, and then we got the um, back Back, which you've seen, and then we got the insert, it's got some more art on it. It's even got the rip bit that Dreamcast game I have. That's, that's really nice. That's to cover like my reprint. It's got VA compatible, wonderful players bonus as well, apparently. So put that in there. Put stickers. I missed the Kickstarter. I did actually order this back in 2013, so. Almost same time as the Kickstarters, so I didn't get any of the collector's editions and like that, some of the soundtracks and that. Then you got the other bits in here. Uh, you got a little poster, which is in like this nice gold. Same as the front cover. So a gathering, obviously this has got the European like logo. That each version has got a different poster as well. Uh, then we got an instruction manual. One you don't see these very often for a start. Um, yeah, it's got some art in the front. There was a start up, also compatible with the Dreamcast and the TV thing. Uh, controls, starting a new game, basic options, uh, basic gameplay, inventory, battle mechanics, uh, credits, original game, so it's got like Tudio in here, um, who I did an interview with on gintendo.co.uk, um, um, HD port, TV, uh, special thanks, I gather this is all the people that, um, Maybe kickstarted it in the special thanks. Uh, there's like stuff about the Kickstarter campaign. Take care, do not take me. Yeah, it's got take care, only use for a Dreamcast system, and it's got um, a picture of a PS2. Uh, do not burn, do not scratch. Yeah, that's quite neat. Some more info, some stuff in the back of Japanese, French. Uh, I that's German or something. Spanish. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, so that's what come today. Um, Yeah, 
there. So there, that's that's that again. Dreamcast version of PS Solar, well, Dreamcast European version. I've seen a few pop up on eBay already, unfortunately. unfortunately. Uh, I don't know how much these are going to go up to. Obviously, the Mega Drive one goes for a fair, but a fair few squid. You're just looking to play the game and not it's not Dreamcast. And that it is on, it is on Wii U, Xbox One, PS4. I don't know if it's on last gen consoles, the gallery is PC, so it's on pretty much everything. Um, as I knew this was coming, and I kept my Mega Drive on Super, I've never actually played the game. I've started it for a bit on the Wii U, um, but I was planning to like play it on the Wii U while when this one came and kept it sealed. But seeing I've now opened it, I may play the game through the Dreamcast instead. So I got that and. Yeah, because of that, I may may use the guide, which is like I said, it's really nice. Yeah, that that guide is excellent. Uh, it's like embossed in the back as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and me babble along. Um, yeah, I've got maybe another unboxing video coming of a limited edition Wii U game. Which may be here on Thursday. Should definitely be here Friday, but may be here on Thursday, depending on obviously when you're watching this. Um, so check that out. And uh, there might be an odd Xbox One game pick, um, as I could pick up in the, in there. But otherwise, yeah, hold on to that. Um, if you like this video, or whatever, and I don't know, subscribe or put in the comments, and possibly I might do more unboxing or. You know, check out my collection videos or whatever, and I like, oh, show you like Project Zero or something on the Wii U limited edition. Obviously, a lot, lot of people might not have seen that. Hey, thanks for watching, and see you again.